Paul Challen. Um, I've been a ranger in this uh, Cradle Mountain Lake Sinclair National Park for the last um, seven years. The actual overland track itself is approximately 65 kilometres long. Um, it runs from Cradle Mountain um, all the way basically down to Lake Sinclair. Uh, on your way there are probably uh, seven or eight uh, various side trips to undertake. Um, some of them involve climbing mountains. Other, other side, side trips involve uh, trips down to waterfalls. If you're lucky within the park, you'll be able to see, um, we've got Bennett's Wallabies, we've got Paddy Melons, uh, we've got Tasmanian Devils, uh, we've got Eastern Quolls, we've got Spotted Quolls, uh, we've got Wombats. Um, they're probably the main marsupials that you'll see. Um, there's, uh, I think you can see 10 of Tasmania's endemic birds within the park. Uh, we've also got um, two snakes within the park, the tiger snake and the white-lipped whip snake. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, well, plus within the, in the lakes and within the uh, waterfalls and that, we've got uh, a galaxia, a native galaxia. Uh, Flora-wise, we've got um, uh, three different kinds of pines, pencil pines, uh, we've got king billy pines, uh, celery top pines, and actually we do also have a chestnut pine as well. Uh, we've got these beautiful button grass plants which you might be able to see during your walk. Uh, we've got a native current over here. We've got uh, some of the trees within the park through the rainforest areas are over a thousand years old. Uh, the myrtles and, and the king billies, they're probably our oldest and the pencil pines are probably our most acceptable um, pine to uh, in the alpine areas to fire. We've also got uh, one of our very special endemic plants which is the Nothophagus gunnii which is our only deciduous tree in Tasmania. Okay, well obviously track work within the park is an ongoing thing and it's totally essential. Um, I mean, realistically we have, uh, during the booking season, we have uh, an allowance for up to uh, like 65, 66 people starting the track every day. So some of the alpine areas are very susceptible to uh, people's footprints. And what we find is that if, when we have a lot of rain and the track gets very wet, uh, people tend to sidestep the track, therefore causing what we call braiding. Therefore we try and protect those areas as quickly as we can by putting in, we're using a system now of double, double planking. Uh, that seems to be the quickest and the cheapest option. Um, that costs approximately 80 to $90 a metre to lay. Um, that includes your helicopter flight and the guys that lay it. Uh, I guess really as far as the boardwalk goes it's an ongoing thing I mean in the late 70s we laid the what we call cordwood that's really coming to the end of its life now so a lot of that needs to be replaced at the same time at the moment the track I would say it's particularly dry so therefore it's not it's not quite so noticeable uh, and most people stick to the track uh, Tasmania is a wonderful place and we would welcome anyone else that would like to come to Tasmania and walk the overland track thank you